What's going on people, guns blazing back at it again, and today I got a Bujin deck for you. So let's hop right into that explanation. This is the main Bajo of the deck, you got Bujin Yamato, and what he does is during the end phase he gets your deck rolling because you can pull any one Bujin monster from your deck, and then send one card from your hand to the graveyard, so that means you can send Centipede or Boar to the graveyard so that they can get their effects popping. Centipede, when banished from your graveyard, can destroy any one spell or trap your opponent controls. And Boar makes it so that if your opponent has any monsters that are too big or monsters that you want to put into defense mode, this guy does it for you. You banish him from your grave and target one face-up attack monster your opponent controls, change it to defense, and the defense becomes zero. Got two Arasudas, and basically what he does is if Yamato gets his effect popping on the same turn, then Arasuda also does, which is you draw one card and then discard one card, meaning that you can get more Centipedes or a Boar into your grave. Oh, and we got one Bujingi Ophidian. This one pops when you discard it from the hand, and he allows one of your Bujin monsters to attack directly during that turn. So maybe you can clear off the back row with your centipedes and then you can easily finish them off with Ophidian. This one to me is a flex spot though, so if you want to run another boar you can, or you could even run a pavo. And what this guy does is when a beast warrior bujin type monster you control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can send this card from your hand to the grave and then special summon a bujin monster from your deck. I do recommend restart because you want the highest chance of getting your Yamato in your starting hand and getting everything rolling. As for the back row, I'm kind of trolling with like one of everything here. But honestly, as long as whatever back row you use can protect your Bujins, you can easily play that slow control game with your centipedes and your boar. Here's a back row lineup that'll look cleaner for you. Although people will be like, oh guns! Three mirror on super rushes every deck! But yeah, a couple cards to know here before we end off the explanation. We got Regalia the Sword. This card can recycle any Bujin monster from your graveyard back to your hand, meaning you can reuse Ophidian, or you can unbanish one of your Bujin monsters, meaning that you can reuse Centipede or Boar. One Gyoku to further lock down the back row, and it does boost up your Yamato and your Arasuda. Alright, that's it from me. Have yourselves a good one, and this is Guns Blajo, signing Agio. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Gyoku first. Get this Gyokajio popping. Might be a Super Rush and a Mirror Wall back there. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, we'll see exactly what he's up to on his turn. Oh yeah, he's got that Waj. We we pinned the Waj. That the headlong is still there, and it's a problem. Oh man, this is actually a savage combo. He's got that golden ladybug healing him. Healing and dealing. And he got the Watt Psychic. Alright. Okay, so. This is gonna wall him out. Hopefully he super rushes into it. Oh, this is your deck, Chaz? He's gonna endo turn right there. Not gonna crash with a super rush. Interesting. I'm gonna go for the centipede and go for his uh Watt Psychic. Actually, if he super rushes this, I'd I'd very much appreciate it. Gets me a lot of value. It's all good because you don't have a way to get over my boar, baby. And then Centipede can pop on any other back row he wishes to uh he wishes to play, and also I can just regalia my centipede back to my hand if he doesn't have any back row. Then start attacking him. Mirror wall pinned with the gilks. Good, good. Let's see what we pick up before we uh, before we make a final decision. Okay, windstorm. Good. I'm gonna regalia it up. So this is pretty versatile. You can like pop stuff with your centipede and then regalia it back. 
Or you can just pick it up from the grave. Or it's destroyed, so you can summon it and then go aggro with it. Fortunately, I don't have a... Yamato. I don't have that Yamato yet. Only thing I'm really worried about is that he's, he's racking up those life points. I gotta start doing some damage soon. No Yamato equals scoop phase. Yeah, that's why I like restart. But mind scan is just so juicy with the centipede. I'm so greedy for it. This Bajo could deck you out. Not necessarily. What if I kill his psychic witches? Power injector. Can window storm or I can mirror wall. So he went with that one first. I can actually just spear a bowl with this too. But if I go mirage, then I can get a I can get his board cleared. Mirage step. Now, paying for the wall is a very very crucial decision. I'm probably should I pay for it? No, I'm not gonna pay for it. I got that Yamato, baby. Looking real good for your boy now. Looking real Gucci for your Bucci. 1900 feels good, man. Yamato guns! Ladybug's car design is so unique. I know, eh? It's a unique one. Destiny draw whatever you want, my boy. Yamato in the grove, and... Uh, oh, let's get a centipede in there. Because if he picks up a back row, he's done. He's done for. He's gonna get his Destructotron popping. Destiny draw. Ties that bind. Mmm... The thing about Ties That Bind is that you have stuff that, like, makes you attack directly and then make their defense zero, so sometimes attack boost doesn't really matter. Aegis of Gaia. Alright. Sick me, bro. Change that. And that's GG. Whoa, Borg! Nani? Is he gonna pump it up twice? Oh, we we see all his cards. He has Golden Ladybug, Aegis, Mirror Wall. It's almost as if we were modding. No, no, no! The bullet says no. And that's game over. Ophidian, oh, Abajo. Actually, gonna be a good showcase of what the deck can do. It can get Centipede popping. Destroy the Aegis. Whether he chains is irrelevant to me, because he's gonna lose three thousand. He's gonna be at two hundred either way. Pop the Ophidian. Put it on the boar. Mujingi boar. Tusk to the nutsack. Yeah, they have a they have a spelling mistake with standby phase. It says standby instead of stand by. Poppy. Poppy. Oh wait, Planet Pathfinder speak. It's this trash. I hate this deck. Spirit Barrier Combo. But I have Centipede, so I have I have ways to deal with it. 
I have ways to deal, baby. I'm gonna pick up my Arasuda Barracuda, and then I'm gonna send Sense Pete. Let's get it. Let's get it, boy. You might see a scoop here if he doesn't have the card he needs. No, he has Plant Path. Hmm. Do I Econ take this? Nah. Toon Kingdom if he wants. As soon as Toon Kingdom hits the field, I'm destroying that. GG. Guns, you should just you should make a three-star demotion deck just for the meme. I don't think it's a meme anymore if it's free, dude. Poppable at any time, free. That's that's something serious, bro. Okay. Toon Mermage. Field Barrier. Field spell cards on the field cannot be destroyed. As soon as Toon Kingdom hits okay. the field, I'm destroying that. Destroying that. Interesting. Destroying that. Destroying so we're gonna have to destroy that. the barrier before we destroy the actual, uh, the actual card itself. <laughs> Sick meme, Pinaka. Well, we had we had a little mishap on the way, okay? We had a little mishap. So you can summon Arasuda now, but I'm not gonna because I can just summon him in attack mode. If you special summon him with that effect, it, it's in defense. So it's not really worth doing that. And I don't have another summon this turn, so... I'm not trying to do that right now. Unfortunately, Centipede can only pop once per turn. But we do get to mill out a couple cards right here. Now we get two cards popping. Let me get a... The centipede here. Arasuda Barracuda. Let's go. Let's get it. Oh, triple centipede. Feels decent, man. But it doesn't really matter because you only get to pop once a turn. Oh, this guy's this guy's uh insisting on that field barrier, eh? He's insisting on it. Well, eventually he's not gonna be able to keep that up. So, you know what? Attack me. Hit me then. Hit me up, bro. Hit me up, bro. I don't really need mind scan. Yeah, and Yamato can only have one copy, so you can set, but I I wouldn't really recommend that. Centipede once more. Estragio. Batage phase. This deck actually would have been a problem if I wasn't running uh if I wasn't running Bujins. He's gonna let it go through. Nani? Has he given up on life? Is he spent? Looks like he's spent, bros. Looks like he's spent, bros. Get this filth off my screen, dude. And before I lose because of this. <laughs> no, the Ebola BM! Yes, he's still here. Yo, Sphere Ebola has come off the bench so many times this week, mate. It's actually insane. This guy's mat and sleeves combination, or lack of sleeves combination, is uh, really tilting me. No Yamato. Feels bad, man. Okay, I'm, I'm running it with Restart, because we really want Yamato in the opening hand, man. Red Eyes. Oh, this guy's running a Fusione. 
the jeopardy you put yourself in by dueling me. Uh, Duel. It's my turn. Phoenix? Phoenix is kind of bad right now. And then Dark Neftes is even worse. I end my turn. My turn. Wow, he bricked again. Wow, this is a horrible starting hand. Know what this deck needs? Snipe Hunter. Kipo. Guns, how fast is your finger? I got the fastest fingers in the West. How about that? How about da? Champion's Vidge. This guy ain't playing no games. He's just storming out. Filthy guy. Why would you do that? No. This peasant doesn't protect his digital cards. <laughs> I don't have BLS Twilight. Not even a single copy, dude. Oh, rest in peace. That's game over. That is game over, my boy. He's got the red eye slash dragon. Ain't no stopping this Bajo now. There goes my mind scan. Actually, my mind scan doesn't matter too much in this matchup because the fusion deck doesn't tend to run that many back row. Sleeping digital cards, lol. Now Yamato wants to show up, eh? Now Yamato wants to show up, eh? And Oto. Right, we need the boar. We need more boars in there. I mean, I can roll with this guy too. Let's get the boar in the grave. The top deck, both top decks will matter now. So he has to top deck anything that isn't a monster. Wait, this is 1200 plus, yeah. Okay, so we're fine for now. We can bore this up. He's probably gonna negate. Oh, okay, we win. So we go Arasuda Barracuda. We hit him with a boar. Make him feel like a... Buddy. He's gonna get baited with a negate. And then it's gonna be a dank cheese play. Cheese will play. He can't take. I've taken your dank beast. And turned them against you. Now, Red Eye Slash Dragon. Betray her left tip. Boom. 